Today's video, I'll be showing you how to test your compressor. Two methods that we're going to do. First, we're going to check the wiring that comes from the harness from the compressor to the contactor and the capacitor. And then we're going to check the actual leads coming off of the, capa off of the compressor itself. First, we need to pull the disconnect and this will remove any power coming in from the circuit breaker to your condensing unit. Here I zoomed in to the compressor and you can see I have three wires coming off of my compressor. I have a black, I have a blue, and I have a yellow. It looks a little brown because it's discolored, but those are the three wires that we're actually going to be testing. So here I have my blue wire. This is going to the erm on my capacitor. And then this is my yellow wire. And this is my black. So these are three wires that we're going to be testing. So right now I'll be taking a reading from each lead to ground using the ohm setting on my multimeter. So here I have my multimeter set to ohm. I have one lead going into the blue terminal and here I'm going to ground. Now right now this is telling me that I have a good reading. If it beeped, if it made this noise while I was, while I was doing this test, then that would indicate to me that we have an issue with the compressor grounding. We're going to follow the same procedure with our other wires. So here I have my multimeter tapping the end of this lead. Here with my other one I'm going to ground so we have a good reading. My multimeter is not beeping. We'll do the same with the yellow lead. So at this point I do know as far as my wires are concerned coming from my compressor to my contactor and my capacitor that we have no issues. Next thing I want to do is I want to test my my wires coming off of my cap that's connected to my compressor that trace back all the way to the contactor and to the capacitor. The reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that we have no breaks or cuts in the line. Here we're going to remove our outer cap and we're going to disconnect our harness. You can see here on my harness I have my blue, my yellow, and my black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to put it on the blue lead on inside of here and then tap this end just to make sure that we have a nice clean run without any breaks. So here I have one end of my leads from my multimeter going into uh, my blue wire and now I'm going to tap just make sure that we have a good test so here I have a good reading now we're going to check our yellow wire And lastly, we're going to check our black wire. So this tells me that I do not have any breaks in my line from my harness here to my leads running to my capacitor and my contactor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the resistance between each terminal and make sure we're getting a proper reading. So go ahead and reattach the cap to your compressor. Now we're going to check for resistance from each lead coming off of the compressor. So we want to make sure that we have that beep. So here we're going to do blue to black. That means we have a good reading. Black, sorry, blue to yellow. Now we're going to do yellow to black. Yellow to blue. Black to blue. Black to yellow. So at this point we've checked each wire and we do know right now that we have a good reading. If for some reason you went from, let's say, any lead 
and you tested it like this and it didn't beep, then that would mean that you have an issue either with your wiring coming off of your harness to your compressor or the compressor itself. Now we're going to test the leads coming off of our compressor and we're going to do the same procedure. We just want to tap each lead, make sure that they all beep and we have resistance coming from those leads coming off of your compressor. So here I'm going to put my leads on each one and we're going to do a test like we did with the wires and we're going to do on each lead just to make sure it's beeping and make sure we have a good reading. So go ahead and do that for each terminal coming off of your compressor. Once you check each terminal, you want to also keep in mind that these compressors have an overload switch that checks the reading of the temperature. If your compressor is overheated, you may not get the proper reading from your uh, leads coming off of your compressor. So you will have to wait until the compressor cools down to get a proper reading. Now we're going to check our windings on the compressor. We're going to take a reading from common to run. We're going to take our multimeter, we're going to put one lead on common, one lead on run, and then we want to see what the reading is on our multimeter and write that down. After you do that reading, you're going to take a reading from common to start. And once you get that reading, you'll write that down. Lastly, you're going to take your reading from run to start. So right now, I'm taking my reading between common and run. Now I'm taking my reading between common and start. Here, I'm taking my reading between run and start. So here, these are my readings when testing this compressor. I use my multimeter, I put one lead on the C common and one lead on the R, the run, I got the reading of 0.5. Then on my second test, I did common to start, and I got 2.3. Once you get these two, you add them up, and here I did my reading from my run to my start, and I got a reading of 2.8. So whenever you do your run to your start, whatever reading that is, it should total what your common to run and your common to start reading uh, came out to. When you're doing your testing, keep in mind sometimes it's very difficult to get your head down and see where um, your common, your run, and your start is. Here, I was able to stick my phone down. If you're able to, just stick your phone down, take a picture, and then refer to that. Draw yourself a chart on a piece of paper. Uh, sometimes you don't have this. You can see here that this actually comes out, so you may not have that. The case, usually, if it has a cap, this is the cap that we pulled off that was covering the harness. Usually it will say on the back of the cap where your common, your run, and your start are. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.